Hello and welcome to the Unshackled's coverage of the leftist protest outside the Margaret Court Liberal Party fundraiser. Now, we should be able to live in a society where people are able to come and enjoy a speech by an eminent Australian and not be intimidated or have the event disturbed, but sadly the left uh, these days uh, don't, uh, don't like people to dissent from their views. They view all their opponents as evil and propagating hate speech, and so they're turning up here tonight to try and disrupt the event. We here at the Unshackled are here to keep an eye on these leftist protests and expose uh, any of any thuggery that may occur. So stay with us tonight. The event is due to start at about 5.30. As you can see, it's further down here. So we'll be bringing you the footage there and keep an eye on things, so stay tuned. As you can see now, the media and the police are here, but the group that's organising this protest, which is called Equal Love, which is a far-left socialist queer group, they haven't showed up yet, so we'll see how the protest turns out when, when they come along. So just to fill you in on a bit more detail, this fundraiser has been held by the Sandringham Liberals uh, in support of their new candidate for the state seat of Sandringham, uh, Brad Rosewell. So it's being held at the Athenaeum Club in central Melbourne, which is an exclusive gentleman's club. So it's obviously a venue that also triggers the left. Of course, Margaret Court has been the uh, left's number one target of recent weeks because of her declaration that she wouldn't fly Qantas anymore because of the support for same-sex marriage. So this type of event was always going to attract her attention and the, the left wouldn't hesitate at the opportunity to uh, try and ruin it. Okay, so I'm back down the road now, and as you can see, the protest is in full swing. Uh, there's a projector up there that they're uh, project uh, putting on sl various slogans. Uh, as you can see, they've been thinking of these chants all day. Uh, it's a bit repetitive, so I haven't recorded all of that. But yeah, it's about three three chants which they they repeat every minute or so. Uh, so far, no trouble, but the road is blocked off, so Melbourne traffic will be. Uh, Will, will be disadvantaged, which is a shame just because of the protest. Oh really? You could have fooled me. Equality year after 
ear after ear, and this falls on Turnbull's head. Turnbull is the most inactive Prime Minister we've seen since the campaign for marriage equality started. What about Julian Gillard? We also believe that there's some other distinguished guests this evening, notably one former, really fallen Prime Minister, Tony Abbott. This is the back entrance here, which obviously the media has found out about while I've also been able to find out about it, so probably the protesters will find out about it soon. It's sort of a funny show. <laughs> So at the moment, the protesters, they keep going, alternating between the front, uh, front entrance and the back entrance, but for some reason they're always leaving one entrance uh, free for people to get in. So they said in their speeches that they wanted a right of reply and they respected free speech, yet they're actively trying to block people uh, getting in. So, so, so much for that charade. So, there's still, the, the event doesn't start until 7. There's still, at this time, 15 minutes to go. And so, obviously, we hope that all the guests can uh, get in. Uh, but, obviously, the, the protesters are making it as difficult for them uh, as possible. So, as always, this is not simply uh, people having a say. It's, uh, it's, it's actually disrupting and intimidating people. Look at the mess that's been left behind here. It's obviously, not much care for the environment here. Someone's going to have to clean this all up.
this is down the road again and it looks like the protest has just wrapped up. The megaphones and projectors are uh, gone and police are now taking names of people of interest, which is good, which implies that maybe some of them will be held accountable for their actions. They did their best to disrupt this event by both blocking the front and rear entrances at various times. Uh, but it's now just past 7 p.m., which was when the event was due to start, so it looks like there hasn't been any major incidents, which is good. Uh, which, And we brought you this event tonight because we wanted to expose to you the, the left, how the left acts in, in action. So they, they said here tonight they were all about you know free speech and this was their right of reply, yet they tried to disrupt this event as much as uh, possible. Uh, and so it was obviously exposing their hypocrisy once again. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the Unshackled's coverage of it and you learned a bit about how the, how the left operates. There's another event coming up this Sunday. It's the Australian Pride March. The Unshackled will be there. There'll be another leftist counter rally there so that we hope that the Australian Patriots, they can uh, have a peaceful rally and once again the police do their job, job and keep their leftist thugs at their bay. So stay tuned for videos of that. But until then, this is signing off from the uh, pr leftist protest outside the Margaret Port Liberal fundraiser. Good night.